Okay, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I make a universal mold. Universal in that you can make any kind of blank with it. A standard uh, PR blank or aluminite blank with no uh, tubes in it or with the tubes embedded in it already. Uh, it's a resin saver, saver type mold. Uh, because it's it's almost three quarters of the diameter is round already uh, just when you make the mold uh, and it's pretty easy to do <clears throat> so uh, what I've got here is something called uh, easy mold silicon putty by casting craft available at Michaels AC Moore those type places um, what comes in the box is two little containers one's white one's purple and the instruction sheet uh, I'm going to go through the instructions so you don't need to, to look at them. Uh, it's a two-part silicon putty. Uh, you work it with your hand so it's not messy. Uh, rules are real simple. Get approximately equal portions of it. Knead it together for about a minute uh, till it's well blended and then form it around whatever your object is that you want to uh, make a mold of and let it sit. Uh, it says uh, on here I believe that it uh, has a three minute working time and 25 minute cure time. I let them sit overnight uh, just to be on the safe side uh, before I do any casting in them. Uh, you'll have to apologize, I have to apologize for my dogs are barking in the background. Uh, this is actually what I'm gonna use to make my mold. This is a piece of three quarter inch uh, phalonic rod. Uh, you can use anything for your mold. I've used uh, pieces of wood, I've used uh, Delrin. Uh, I just wanted something that was three quarter inches in diameter and long. Uh, you'll notice I've got a lot of length here. Um, this is probably about a 10 inch piece. I would take a guess at off the top of my head, maybe a little bit shorter than that. Uh, and I'm going to make a mold that takes up the entire entire thing so that I've got plenty of space to work with. So uh, what I'm going to do is I've got two packages. Each package that you get comes with a half pound, uh, which I've already made this mold and this mold out of this first kit uh, I probably won't have enough in this left in this kit to uh, make the entire mold here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the last bit of this first kit and part of the second kit to make this one uh, but you literally just reach in with your fingers grab this stuff out and you can see even though this is a silicon putty it does not stick to my fingers. It's not messy. Uh, you know, it, it's easy to work with. Uh, I've tried working with silicon, uh, you know, like caulk before, and that's really messy. Sticks to your fingers. Can never get it off. It seems like. Um, but this stuff is much, much easier to work with. Again, just reach in. <coughs> And that'll be the end of that kit. So you can see I've got two wads that are approximately the same size. I know I'm going to need more on this, so let me just open up the second pack. And it just takes me a second here to find the end of the tape. So, I'm going to take out probably about that much more. And this is not rocket science. You don't have to be 100% accurate. You just want to be pretty close. So, I think this will be enough for this mold. If not, we'll have to add a little bit more to it. So, two pieces approximately equal. Now I'm going to mer merge them together and I'm just going to work this clay kneading it together for like I said about a minute. You want to do it pretty quick because once you start doing this it starts curing on you immediately but you've got a little bit of working time. And What you're looking for is you want it to be an even color, no swirls. For example this would not be good. And 
and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm working on a glass table, so you might see some of the dogs in the background there. Okay, now we're starting to look better. It's a uniform color. I don't see any real swirls or anything as I'm mushing this stuff around. It's just kind of there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this thing into a log. They tell you to roll it into a ball, which is good if you're doing a smaller object. Since I'm doing something that's 10 inches long, a ball ain't going to work. But what you're looking for is to try and get it uh, air pockets out of it and also make sure that there are no, uh, you know, or try and work out any creases and things like that. So you can see, I just want to work this thing down. I want it to be approximately the same length as my, my piece here uh, so that I can form it around it. Now I'm working on just a piece of, uh, this is actually just a manila folder. Now I'm just going to take my, my rod here, get it pretty close, I'm going to press it down into the mold, into the putty, and then just pull the sides up along the edges. And there's not like a big rush on this, but you do want to, you know, you've got that three minute working time it says. So, and it doesn't have to be thick. True it up on my ends. So you can work it pretty thin and not have to worry about it. Uh, and it will be flexible, so if you go over the top a little bit, it's no big deal. The bottom, because I'm doing it on a flat surface, is obviously going to be flat. And if you have a small hole in it, you can actually just mix, mix up a, a small dab of it and plug the hole later. It'll actually bond to itself without any issues. That looks pretty good. Now I know a lot of the a lot of the other guys who make professional molds, you know, they look nice and square on the outside. I've got a couple of resin saver molds myself, so uh, they do work wonders. I've used them quite a bit and they don't break. Uh, they're good molds. This one just happens to be a, a what I call a universal type mold. Like I said, I, I wanted one that was really long here, so you can see that uh, this one's going to be about 10 inches long. I'll be able to do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, what I'm going to show you now, because i got to set this to the side so that it can cure, now that I've, now that I've uh, set that mold aside to uh, cure uh, over there, I'll show you the uh, other two that I made a couple weeks ago. Uh, these are made... I made these two out of uh, just pin blakes I had laying around. I had already turned them to three quarter inches or slightly under, uh, so they fit in my collet chuck. And yeah, they're pretty smooth, so I use them to to make my molds. Uh, if you listen here, you can see that they are very tight and they actually snap whenever you uh, press them down in there. So they're very tight molds and. Uh, Materials when they when you pull them out of here, uh, it, it forms a very tight bond there. So uh, you know it is a little bit a little bit of an issue, but they're very flexible. Also, you can see I can bend it in half without any issue. Uh, you know they're thick enough to to be uh, to be a mold, but thin enough to be very flexible at the same time. The reason that I call them uh, universal molds and the whole reason I made the longer one is because I wanted to do uh, a full pin in one one cast and this is actually a set of uh, tubes for the uh, Reinhardt or, or Baron um, and what I've done is I've made Delrin uh, end caps and they're three quarter inch Delrin so they snap down in here and as you can see forms a tight bond you can move it but it's still pretty tight and when you pour your resin in uh, it should not bleed through on the ends um, I can fill it up most of the way here uh, not quite full it, it won't be quite fully round otherwise it'd run off on the ends but I can get a pretty close type of uh, uh, blank out of this and not waste a lot of resin 
the Delrin doesn't stick to the PR or the Illuminite, so uh, when once it's done curing, they snap right off, and I'll have completed blanks at that point. Thank you very much.